Hello everyone to another episode of Biologic Science News. Today I want to talk about an epidemiological study recently published in the journal The Lancet, which examined a strain of Mycobacterium tuberculosis as it was carried across a huge expanse of land from its origin in Africa to a new continental population in Europe. The study comes on the heels of the epidemiological investigation conducted by the Swiss and German National Mycobacterial Reference Laboratories, with country-specific data collected from the archives of the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control. The results of the study are worrisome, as it always is when, one, uh, a new multi-drug-resistant strain of some pathogen emerges and begins to spread in a population, and two, when that pathogen spreads from its host population, from its host geography, into a whole new geography, into a whole new population that presumably doesn't have as much uh, immunity built up to it. Both of these things can be very dangerous in and of themselves. And when you combine them, when you take them together, they can be even more dangerous. That's a recipe for a pandemic. The study first discusses the World Health Organization's Global Tuberculosis Report. In 2016, there were 10.4 million new cases of tuberculosis. And within this group, 600,000 people who got medical treatment were infected with a drug-resistant strain of it. All of the observed strains were resistant to rifampicin, ethambutol, and isoniazid, and they showed phenotypic resistance to capriomycin, all of which are typical medicines used to treat tuberculosis. They also detected a strain among these that had recently evolved the resistance to the drug pyrazinamide. In the spring of 2016, Swiss and German health authorities detected four patients with these resistant tuberculosis strains. Over the summer and into the fall and winter, more cases of patients with these drug-resistant strains kept appearing in Europe, totaling 29 patients by April 2017. Now keep in mind, these are just the patients who sought medical treatment. We don't know how many people with these drug-resistant strains of tuberculosis exist out there who haven't sought medical treatment, who aren't in any database, who are just out there in the world, coughing up their lungs and hopefully not, but maybe, spreading these, uh, spreading these strains. The patients that they documented were all migrants from countries in the Horn of Africa, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Djibouti, and Somalia. They had traveled across the northern region of Africa through Sudan into Libya in 2015, where they then joined migrant streams coming across the Mediterranean into Italy. The researchers gathered exhaustive data to paint the surrounding environment for these tuberculosis strains. You know, more information on how these strains appeared might give you information on how it's spreading and how to stop the spread. Of the 29 patients, 22 of them had available travel data, as the others simply couldn't be found for interview or they didn't want to, uh, they didn't want to divulge the information. From these 22 people with, uh, with available data, they found that heavy cross-infection would have happened in Bani Walid, a Libyan city that had heavy migrant traffic. More than half of the interviewed patients said that they went through Bani Walid, with some living in the detention centers there for as little as 60 days, and others living there for as long as 180 days. This is ample time for virulent pathogens to spread. Even worse, the patients described brutal and unsanitary conditions in the facilities that they went through, like being kept in windowless rooms with as many as 300 other people at a time. They described physical abuse by the guards, being moved in trucks at night, they even described rapes, slavery, and seeing fellow immigrants being sold into slavery, and even murder. They described crowds expressing symptomatic behavior of diseases, like chronic coughing, and that, combined with these cramped, unhygienic quarters, creates a, a, an extremely optimal condition for the pathogens to spread. The patients then say they entered Europe through ports in Sicily and southern Italy. The researchers say in their discussion that their stories clearly describe traumatic events, as including prolonged captivity, wherein their sense of time may have been distorted or uh, inaccurate. Furthermore, some patients almost certainly were uncomfortable sharing this information, either for financial or legal reasons pertaining to their migration status. 
Of the 12 patients who stayed in Bani Walid, they had eventually traveled to a wide variety of places in Europe. One patient was diagnosed in Austria, and one patient in Finland. Four patients were diagnosed in Germany, and six patients were diagnosed in Switzerland. After the bulk of the research was completed, even more patients with this multidrug-resistant tuberculosis showed up in Germany and Italy. The conclusion that the researchers come to is that a strain of M. tuberculosis that's resistant to a number of drugs has emerged around northern Somalia and Djibouti. It spread across North Africa as the migrants traveled to Libya, where in the detention camps, it spread because of the cramped and unsanitary conditions. The subsequent migration has carried the strain into Central European countries like Germany, Italy, Switzerland, and Austria, among others. Only time will tell if these drug-resistant strains of tuberculosis spread into the local population.